draw the graph of f of x equals that function. Okay, so this, let me bring it over here. This is an exponential function. So y equals negative 4 to the x minus 3 minus 4. So when um, x is in power, we call that exponential. And by, by exponential, what we mean is the graph is going to rocket up on one side and flatten on the other. It's going to rocket up or down on one side. And it's going to flatten out on the other side. That's what these graphs do. So it might rock it up to the left. It might rock it up to the right and flatten. I mean, yeah, it might rock it up to the left, and that's kind of a terrible drawing. It might go the other way, you know? It might, it might rock it up and to the left and come down to the right. It might rock it down to the right and flatten on the left. It might rock it. It might do this. So it can go four different directions, up, down, uh, up right, up left, down right, down left. It's going to flatten on the other side. So very important to know that it rockets up or down on one side, flattens out on the other. That's what exponential functions do when they have x up in the power zone. Um, now, where do they flatten out? That's what this other number is. This number, the number that's added or subtracted, that is the horizontal asymptote. That's the line where it's going to flatten. So let's get rid of this stuff. And let's put that, that's where we start. That's the first thing we start with the graph. Let's start with that, minus 4. So that means down here at minus 4, I'm going to put a flat horizontal line because that's where the graph is going to flatten out. Now, I'm going to come down here and make my table next. So I'm going to go x, y, and y, of course, equals minus 4 to the x minus 3 minus 4, like that. And I'm going to put in some values. Now, you can plug in any numbers you want, but what's going to be easiest, it's easiest to plug in to make the power equals zero. Make this little power zone be zero. So what could I plug in right there for x to make that power zone zero? Well, three, huh? So that's what's going to be easiest. So let's do that. So if you plug that in, what do you get? Minus four to the three minus three minus four. And that's minus four to the zero minus one. Now, the negative sign is separate. And 4 to the 0 is 1. So minus 4, minus 1, minus 4, minus 5. So that's over 3, down 5 right here. Over 3, down 5. There's our first point. We just need one more point now. So to find another point, usually we just go up by 1. So let's just go up to 4. Let me plug that in, so I'm going to get y equals minus 4. Plug it in a 4 right there to the 4 minus 3 minus 4. So y will equal minus 4 to the 1 minus 4. That's minus 8, isn't it? So that means over 4, down 8. That's uh, right here. Over 4, down 8. Okay, that sets enough information right there. So we can tell what this thing's doing. It's rocketing down to the right, and therefore it must flatten on the other side because they always rock it up or down on one side, flatten on the other. So there we go. There's a picture of that, of that exponential function.